I have a very special secret. I'm the only one who knows about tiny people living in our walls called the Littles. There's no one else around, and my door's locked. Well, if you're sure, Henry, I guess it's time to play. You're gonna love the new video game cartridge I just got. Wow, I've seen one of these before, but I never played one. Well, now's your chance. Let's see if you can beat me. <laughs> But we shoot a mean laser. Oh. Don't be afraid, Slick. It's just a game. You know we're always safe when we're with Henry. begins the most important phase of my investigation into what I believe to be a new life form. I have found evidence of a race of tiny human-like animals, small enough to fit into the palm of my hand. I am now on the outskirts of Grand Valley. I'm sure this small town is the center of these elf-like tailed creatures, I call the Littles. Look out! Look out for that grand thing! Oh, you almost knocked my tail off! Hey! Who turned off the lights? Yeah! all the evidence I need to prove the existence of these creatures. Uh, Grandpa Little, are you all... Listen. I am now going to put my final plan into effect. Within a few hours, I will have captured one of the Littles. <laughs> man plans to capture one of us littles. As members of the civil defense, we've got to warn the others. Don't worry, Grandpa Little. I'll have us back home before you can say Dinky is a genius. Maybe so, but not before I can say Dinky is an idiot. You fixed the plane. I know another way to warn the others. You can count on me. <laughs> I hope this works. Oh, boy. 
boy, this is big news! Big news! Quick, set this up. Make it extra large headline. Great! That's good. Let's roll the credits. I wonder where Grandpa Little and Cousin Dinky are. They were supposed to be back by lunchtime. Oh, don't worry, Helen. Dinky may not be the best pilot in the world, but he'll bring Grandpa back in one piece. I hope. Extra! Read all about it! Hey, look at this. Beware of Little's Hunter. Oh, no. Uh, according to this bulletin, there's a big man who's coming to get us. He's coming, all right, with, with all sorts of computers and, and new pangle gizmos. Oh, that's terrible! Don't you worry about a thing. If that big palooka comes around here, Sir Dinky will give him an on guard and a touche! And you're gonna give me a headache if you don't stop blabbering. We better tell Tom and Lucy to be on the lookout. Come on, Dinky. You can protect me while I go out and warn them. There they are! But how are we gonna get down there from up here? I took one of your parachutes in order to do the trick. Parachute? Are you nuts? I'm not jumping down there. But I thought a great pilot like you knew all about parachuting. Oh, uh, uh yeah, uh, of course I do. Well, why, I made a thousand jumps, but... Good, good. Then you won't mind making one more. Geronimo! Well, when are you gonna pull the ripcord? Ripcord? Oh, shucks, you know there was something I forgot. You forgot your brains is what you forgot. Well, you know what they say. Any landing you can walk away from is a good one. Oh! Wow! Invaders from Mars! Take cover! Relax, Stinky. There aren't any invaders from Mars. It's only Henry's new video game. I knew that. Just practicing in case there's ever a real attack. We've come to warn you. There's a big man out there somewhere, and he's looking to find our world. Oh, no, if he finds you, there'll be experiments. I may never see you again. Quick, get back inside when you'll be safe. Don't worry, I'll see what I can find out about the man who's trying to get you. Thanks, Henry. You're really a best friend. Peterson. I'm picking up traces of subnormal heartbeats. Turn left up ahead. I've said it once and I'll say it again. All of our troubles started when Tom and Lucy Little broke the most sacred law of our Constitution. No little shall ever reveal himself or any part of the little's world to a big person. And that's just what they did when they made friends with Henry Big. He's the one who told this big man about us. No, no, that's not true, Milo. Henry's their friend. Friend? Ha! What kind of friend would a big person make? They're not like us. They're all selfish and evil. Order! Order! Tom and Lucy Little must be taught a lesson. They should never be allowed to see Henry Big again. He's right. They should pay for what they've done. Keep them away from that Henry kid. Oh, pipe down. While you fools are busy blowing hot air about, there's a big man after us doing who knows what. That's right. Some of our civil defense team are tracking him at this very minute. We've got work to do. The signals are getting stronger. Pull over. It's coming from that house over there. Peterson, bring the equipment. 
no, that must be the man. I've got to warn the Littles. Yes? Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Hunter. My associate and I are looking for <clears throat> some escaped lab mice that may be in this area. How can we help you? I'll just need a few minutes of your time to make sure they're not hiding in your walls. Why, of course. Please come in. Slick, uh -huh. you've got to get a message to Tom and Lucy for me. Oh. Ooh. This is emergency oh. way. You got that? Henry, why is your door locked? Quick, into the wall. I'm coming. Hi, Dad. Henry, this is Dr. Hunter. He's going to check your room for mice. But uh, I have a test to study for. Can't it wait till tomorrow? It'll only take a few minutes. Peterson, bring me the vacuum. W what's that for? I'm just going to vacuum inside the wall. That way I can tell if there's any little mice in the house. Did you hear something, Tom? Oh, 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 There isn't a second to lose. We've got to warn the others. Ooh. No, no, don't touch that. Henry, what are you doing? But Slate crawled into the wall. Henry, what did you do that for? I told you it's the, uh, my, my turtle, Slick. He'll get sucked into the vacuum. I won't harm your turtle, son. I promise you. Hurry, before the winds come back. Oh, my goodness. It's another hurricane. Quick, grab onto something. It's just a little clear air turbulence. Nothing a pilot's ever worry about. Yeah. Well, then, that must be the pie in the sky! Peterson, turn up the power. Oh, no! They must have stopped vacuuming. We'll never get Lucy back now. Don't give up, Helen. I'll go to the council and get help. There's still a chance. He's moving to another vent opening. We gotta hurry. This way. another minute or two. Mom, Dad, don't let him run slick. Uh, haven't you vacuumed enough now, Dr. Hunter?
you all right? It's me, Tom. Say something, anything. Sniffleblit. What? He has said to say anything, so I said Sniffleblit. Lucy, cut it out. We don't have time for games. We gotta find a way out of here. What was that? Thanks for your help. We'll let you know if we need to do any further, uh, searching. Tom, Lucy! I got rid of Dr. Honor! Where are Tom and Lucy? They were sucked into the vacuum. No, that can't be! If Dr. Honor finds them, he'll... I've got to stop him and... and get the vacuum! Oh, no! They're leaving! <laughs> We should have punished Tom and Lucy Little. Now that that big Dr. Hunter has got them, they'll bring ruin to us all. Not if Milo stops yapping and we start discussing a way to help get them back. Get them back? Ha! Impossible! Oh, yeah? Well, I happen to have a solution with me. Henry? He's no solution. He's the cause of all our problems. But, but you don't understand. They're my best friends. I want to save them. I have to save them. Don't listen to him. He's a big. All bigs are the same. That's enough talking. Dinky and I are going to get Lucy and Tom with or without your help. Right. We are? All right, Henry. Get us to that trailer. Who invited you? Grandpa Little, how far did you say it was to that trailer? Just past the entrance to town on the main road. You can't miss it. Peterson, get me the vacuum bag. Y yes, Dr. Hunter. Well, now, let's see what we've got here. Something tells me we're in big trouble, Lucy. Big, big trouble. Psst! We're here! Good! Now we gotta get inside. I've got a great idea! You sneak into the trailer, I'll stay here and watch out for danger. Just a suggestion. <laughs> Oh, no. He's gonna find Tom and Lucy any second. Well, don't just stand there like a skyscraper. Do something. Peterson, what's going on? Uh, m m must be a fuse. Ow! Now's our chance, Lucy. Come on! That's funny. The light switch was off. Ah, there's nothing here. Shh, follow me. Wait a minute. The instruments are picking up something. Sound him. What do we do? Put us down. Dick and I'll go head him off. You go hit him off. I'll stay here and look after Henry. That's what you think. Whatever's here is registering on the infrared scanner. Can't you 
Dr. Hunter, I heard something by the printer. Okay, let's move it. There's something moving over there. Here. Me? I was just uh, looking for my turtle. I found him. Say hello to the nice man, Slick. Oh. <laughs> Lucy, Tom! Oh, you're all right. But I thought you all agreed that Tom and Lucy should be punished. Ooh, what made you decide to help? Well, we realized that Tom and Lucy must have had an awful good reason to break the law of the Littles and make themselves known to Henry Big. That's right. And we see how much their friendship means to them. And that's why, tales or no tales, we had to do something to help Henry. He made us all understand that the most important part of true friendship is loyalty. That's right. Ah! A human! Oh! <laughs> it's all right. Uh, nothing personal, Henry. <laughs> it pays to be safe, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Henry? Don't go so fast. <laughs> ah, what's the matter? I promised Henry that you would show him how we make our newspaper. That's simple. You take a piece of paper, a razor like this one, and a ballpoint pen. Using the pen, you just have to write the words in their mirror image. This means from right to left with each letter backwards. And it's ready for printing. Great. Thanks, Littles. 